Hi, good morning. This is Mr. Garcia here, and I hope you guys are doing great today. So, this is gonna be a quick tutorial of what I want you guys to create today. It's just a simple picture of uh, of you create of you using patterns to create art. All right. So what we're doing today is we're gonna be making a little. Let's see, we're gonna be making a little cup of tea, okay, or hot chocolate, whatever you want it to be. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna get my black pencil. Is we're gonna use simple shapes, okay, kind of like a little circle with a circle attached to it okay I'm trying to get the perfect circle I'm too far on my screen there you go there you go something like that okay now what I'm gonna do is you know art has to do a lot with erasing like this it has to do a lot with the erasing what you created all right, so what I did is I made the first circle and then a smaller one. This is going to be the handle of, of the uh, of the chocolate mug or tea mug, whatever you want it to be, like this. Okay, and we're going to learn a little bit about the, at least some of the elements of design. Uh, what the elements of design is, something that every art piece must follow in order to have a really appealing uh design towards the end so today we're learning about line and how we can use lines to create texture or how we can use lines to create patterns okay so we a line is it's just a dot that is created to you to be long like this okay you guys understand what a line is it can be straight a line can be uh, uh, zigzagged it can be a circle it can be a triangle line is a fundament is what we use to create art so without lines we wouldn't have any art okay so I'm gonna put my little mug inside of a plate okay uh, now I'm gonna make sure that my mug is pretty much leveled kind of like this okay all right and uh you know it's so hot so steamy right all right there you go and there you go all right so what you guys are gonna do now after you have your beautiful mug is you're gonna go ahead and have different patterns on it in each pattern is gonna have a different color okay so for example and I'm gonna do it like this. For example, this pattern that I'm doing right here is gonna have kind of like this tree feeling to it, right? Something like this, yeah. And what is a pattern? A pattern is something that repeats itself multiple times over and over again, all right? Patterns, you can also have different patterns as part of a pattern. So, for example, you can have something like triangle, 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 that's a pattern, or triangle, square, triangle, square. Uh, patterns can also be numbers, letters, shapes. It can even just be lines. So, I'm going to go ahead and put some more lines for you guys. All right. So we say it can also be lines. How about we do uh, triangles like this? Okay. It can be uh, can be like squiggly lines like this. 
I'm struggling a little bit. There you go. So which you guys are just making that, just making art using patterns. Okay. Go really intricate with your patterns. You can also do a pattern where it's uh, just a line going across like this. If you guys paid attention during Christmas, there's plenty of patterns everywhere. So this was an assignment that I wanted to do with you guys during Christmas. But I apologize that we didn't get to do it. We did similar stuff, right? So every piece of this entire drawing is going to have some sorts of pattern. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and switch uh, over to a pattern that has to do with different colors. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a straight line like this. So I'm going to have a bold, big line going up like this. Just a simple, straight line. Okay. Something like this and you'll find yourself that as you're doing this it's something that well, it's coming you down as you're doing it all right and now my yellow is gonna be little dots and you guys feel more than free oops, to have your own patterns so they can be different if you want them to be That's beautiful. Okay. I'm also gonna have like a little and have some more intricate patterns. Let's go with different colors. Let's go with red. I love red. Kind of like this little scaling pattern. Okay. You can also do you can do more patterns. Like oh, I'm about to do it here with this background is gonna do pattern that's circles. Try your best to make your lines as clean as possible. Feel free to also, you know what? Feel free to change colors within your patterns. So I think I'm going to go for a purple color now. Give your patterns a different effect. A color effect gonna look really beautiful when you're done oops didn't mean to do that and I'm gonna do one more one more pattern down here I think I'm gonna go for you can go for a checkered pattern alright so I'm gonna do the yellow so checkered just squares but the way the checkered works is is by making one square oops so one square is gonna have it and the other it's not like this i don't understand why my computer is doing that oh now i understand there you go so you you can have a checker pattern like mine okay so I know this was a quick tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. 
uh, please if you have any questions feel more than free to send me a message or an email my email is art at smsp dot school so it's the same email as your kids uh, once again if you have any questions feel free to message me or email me okay you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and please take care I'll see you next time bye bye